I'm trying to romanticize my life right now so I can get through it, but I'm unhappy with the situation as it currently stands. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go again. to breathe right Ooh. well I didn't think I was gonna lose it <laughs> well <laughs> sorry about that sorry friend hello <laughs> what the f um I'm just having a hard time every day of my life but I keep having more days so it's a conquering <laughs> yes quite absolutely right <laughs> Okay, so this episode, I think the hard thing I've done today is have big emotions and not get to do anything about them. That's a very hard thing, to have a big emotional reaction. Do you have that? I have that. I have BPD, Borderline Personality Disorder. Don't look at my eye. I'll look at your eye if you look at my eye. Don't look at me. All right, pay attention. I have BPD. I have big emotional reactions to things and it makes my life very vibrant. I have the most vibrant, interesting, insane life ever, truly. <laughs> With the big emotions comes a big, beautiful life because I can feel so deeply. Yeah. Somebody who really deeply deeply and in a juicy way can connect to people's feelings and have my own feelings and be feeling. I feel like I'm just made of feelings. I have a skin body. Skin body is crazy. Sorry. I mean, I'm just trying to describe. I want you to get to know me. Welcome to my channel. I'm Borderline Belle. And uh, if you're new here, welcome, subscribe. If you don't know what that intro was, Welcome to mental health. Nobody knows what's going on. We're just, everybody's just doing their best, honey, sweetie. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I'm just emotions. That's it. Sometimes I'm shocked to find I have a meat suit. Shocked by my own flesh. <laughs> I'm trapped in here. I like it. I like this body so much now, you know, but I definitely have a career, a lifetime of abusing my body and really having very difficult mental health struggles and stumbles and accomplishments and yes. get betters. Yes. <laughs> what do they call that? Recovery? Yes. Whatever. Today, so the, today's hard thing is just having the big emotions. That part. I want to talk about that part. Does anybody, is anybody else feeling a lot of stuff a lot of the time, all the time? Is it not just me? <laughs> Are we dying out here a little bit? Are you guys all right out there? Like, how's your mental health? Like, I mean, anxiety, depression. It's like, it doesn't even have to be diagnosed. Like, are you just thinking in your head and you're like, I'm having a bad time up here? That's it. That's mental. It's mental, your brain, and it's health. That's it. That's mental health. It's not anything crazy around here. It might be. <laughs> How could be living in capitalism in any country or corporate anywhere on earth where there's no harmony and be say like this? Who's doing that? It's me. Most days I'm very positive, but today I'm having a, I'm having a hard time with my big emotions. So that's the episode, <laughs> and you can watch me deal with them in a parking lot when I should be doing something else. And my leg is all wet because my water bottle spilled on it. And I'm just pissed off. So I pulled over. So I could be pissed off. And that's the beginning of the episode is me. I'm supposed to be doing something for work right now. But it's like I needed to take a 10 minute break because I was like, I'm having big emotions all the time. 
and I'm having some today. It's frustration at myself, frustration at little things. It's the rain. It's it's the current state of the country. <laughs> I mean, I'm just. I don't want. It's election time. It's just. It's not just. I'm just having anxiety. <laughs> I'm gonna deal with it. Whoa. I'm gonna drink some water now. I don't want you to see the brand. The, cool it. <laughs> cool it. Cool it down. Whoa. That was scary. Oh no. Oh. I think I was having a panic attack. That's crazy. But you know what? I didn't know when I started filming it. I knew I was I was anxious, but I don't think I I don't think I realized. I think I'm still like, whoa. But like I'm okay. Really, truly. I'm like, alright, I just needed a beat. Oh, cool air. Mm. I just downloaded this app that like lets you listen to bird noises and it like tells you what bird is like making the noise. And, like, well, it's like you're collecting Pokemon but they're real birds. And like I give a shit so much harder about that than I do about Pokemon sadly. Ooh. My ribbon scared me. I was like, who's in the bag? <laughs> oh, anxiety is so crazy. It's just like my whole body seized up and I just was having like I was having a panic and it's like that's okay sometimes my nervous system is not always in tip-top shape okay maybe I'm not eating right or I'm not getting enough water or I didn't get enough sleep or something is off in my body it's like that's gonna manifest in different ways sometimes it's a physical thing that causes my anxiety maybe I had too much caffeine or whatever like that can give you anxiety and you can have an anxiety attack without being diagnosed with anxiety or you know you could lose a loved one and you could fall into a very sad state for a long time that someone could diagnose as depression but may not diagnose because it is an isolated incident in a way and perhaps you bounce back before you need to go get diagnosed and so you never have to deal with this but I feel like a lot of mental health topics and and realities are things that a lot of us can relate to and that was crazy because I think I really just had myself a little anxiety attack I wasn't it's so dramatic I feel like a lot of mental health topics are far more relatable than we a lot of people might realize and so I feel like this show is for literally everybody if you have a human body then this show is for you because if you have a brain it definitely has a health a kind of health right so like you should check up on that health because your brain's important and I think a lot of cultures perhaps like especially in my culture in Haitian culture that is something that they don't really even believe in mental health so it's like that was something I and it was something I desperately needed in my teen years I desperately needed mental health help all the time <laughs> I needed it a lot and I think different cultures different perceptions you know so Ooh wee. I just hope that this helps someone because that was a little mini panic attack, but that little breathing thing, that helps. And I have so many other tips and tricks to that I can teach you. If you're feeling, if you have a feeling inside where you feel like, oh no, it's like, I know that feeling. If, if you have a feeling inside that's like, oh no, or it's like, oh no, or it's like, oh no. If it's like any of the oh no's, if you're having a tough time, or if you've ever had a tough time, or if you have a loved one who's having a tough time, you're welcome here. It's like, I'll show you all my ugly bits if it'll help you even a little bit, because I love you. That's it. <laughs> I love every single one of you. Yup. Mm -hmm. And like, I mean it deeply, and I mean it desperately, and I, and I really 
like creating things that I think will help other people. It's like, I literally think that's a, my purpose is, is to help other people in any way I humanly can. And, and I'm decent at cutting a video together and I'm not shy. So it's like, I really want to share with you the mental health things that I'm going through in the hopes that it helps you. I hope I help you. You know what I mean? Like it's really hard out here. <laughs> and I sometimes feel so lonely and I just know that if I'm feeling so lonely then like so many people are too and it's I want to it's like an online friend, you know, but don't be weird. And it's like boundaries. No means no. Oh. But you get what I'm saying. I'm just I would like to be your I'd like to be I'd like to come to the comments. Thank you for watching. <laughs> that was today's little freak out episode. No part two. <laughs> that was crazy. I have to go. I have to get, I have to pull it together and be an adult. And it's getting harder and harder to do that. And I'm, I'm trying to find new pathways to a new life because I'm not exactly like flourishing. I mean, I'm flourishing. I'm doing the best I've ever done in my life. I mean, I'm broke. I'm very poor. But like also... I'm doing very well spiritually. Yes! It's so nice. Like, as a human, not like, not like any organized religion. <laughs> just like, I'm just saying, as a human soul, I'm like, I'm I'm okay. It's nice. I'm recovery. So, I want to do this while I'm well, you know? I want to make moves and do stuff while I'm well, because I was unwell for so long. So, come with me on my journey, you know? Welcome, if you haven't, if you're new, because I'm kind of new. This is like my fifth, fourth, second episode. I don't know. I've recorded so many, and, and what have I edited? Stress. I've edited stress out of my life. I'm getting better. <laughs> I have so many things to tell you. Thanks for hanging out with me during my anxiety attack. That was crazy. <laughs> and a little not embarrassing. I almost said that. See how I corrected that thought? That's literally how, that's one of my biggest tips. Look at that, right at the end of the video. My biggest tip. Like, when you have a bad thought, correct it with a good thought. And then eventually, I did that for... I, that saved my life and I'm I did it in real time in front of you you know I was gonna say I'm embarrassed of my anxiety attack even though I filmed it and gave it to you and I had to correct it mid-sentence and say I'm not embarrassed this is real welcome to my real life <laughs> my real Nissan Sentra in my real struggles and my real battle with mental health like I'm, I'm really inviting you to get intimate because I think that's what we're missing in reality TV we're missing intimacy and I don't I'm I'm no longer afraid of the intimacy between me and my content I'm so excited to like share that with you so welcome to my channel please subscribe and let's talk about mental health I want to check in with you like get in the comments and you know you don't don't get graphic you know just but how are you doing you know what or if you're comfortable sharing what you have been diagnosed with or what your family member or you can talk in the third person or make up a character I don't care I just like want to connect I want to create spaces where we can connect and and talk about getting better and find ways to help each other because I think you know that's what saved my life was community community and you know consistency and serving cunts baby <laughs> that's crazy and, um, but kind of seriously, you know, so, um, I said what I said and I'm not mad. So I don't know. Stay mad, I guess. I don't know. All right. See you on the next one.